I'm sure you've heard the very sad <coughs> news about Dame Olivia Newton-John, who passed away peacefully at the age of 73, surrounded by family and friends. Whilst the cause of her death hasn't been revealed, Olivia had been living with breast cancer for 30 years. Uh, she was, uh, as we said, a, a, an icon. She sold over 100 million records, but it was her role in as Sandy, of course, in Greece, that she stole the hearts of millions of her beauty, charm and that girl-next-door oh, reputation. Yeah. I mean, just what a movie. Oh. What a movie. What a wonderful, lovely woman. Mm. She's been on the show several times. Mm. But I didn't know till today that you met her when you were very young. Yes, I met her when I was about 10 years old. And you know what? It's one of those meetings that I will never forget. And I'm, I'm not just saying that because we've lost her and, you know, people come out with all these stories. But I think it's when we first started and we were there doing the Cliff Richard series and she was on that particular episode. And I just remember walking in, I remember it so vividly, and I was 10, walking in and it was before Greece and all of that. I think she was 24 at the time, 23, 24. And this beautiful girl turned round and it was like the whole room lit up. She didn't have a scrap of makeup on. She had the biggest, bluest eyes I've ever seen. And she was like, hi, how are you? And it was like... Wow, she was just, me and my sisters just went, she is stunning. And she was just lovely to everybody. She was just one of the nicest people. But all the tributes coming through, Janet, I mean, so many, but this word, she was lovely, she yeah. was gorgeous. What a, she, you know, she lit up a room. Yeah, really you never did. really hear anything, anybody say no. anything bad about her. I met her in 1980 at the premiere of Xanadu uh, in Australia. And, you know, it was a really obviously frantic occasion. I remember talking to her for a few moments and thinking, Num oh, God, there I am, 1980. Oh, um, you look great. She was so lovely and charming and, you know, always had time for you. And she just radiated nice. Yes, yeah. she did. Yeah. And there aren't many people that, that everybody says that about. Mm. Um, I, I mentioned that she has been on the show um, a few times, um, and the last time she was here was 2020. Um, oh, we're just showing that. Sorry, yeah, the last time she was here was in 2020, and she spoke very openly about her breast cancer, because I think, Brenda, you were here yeah. that day, so I think that we can show you some of that. You say that you look at it as a gift, the amount of times that it's, it's come back for you. How, how do you manage to stay so positive and, and have that as a, look at it as a gift in, in that way? You can make a choice on what you think and how you think about it. And for me, choosing to see it that way, because if I hadn't experienced breast cancer, I wouldn't be doing the things I'm doing now. I wouldn't have let my name to a cancer wellness centre in Australia. For me, it gives me purpose and it gives me a reason to get up every day and uh, I'm so grateful for every day anyway. And if I can give back and help other people, then that's really what I want to do. I mean, very inspiring, particularly it, exactly. for you having been I, through... Yeah, and it was similar. just how she dealt with it. Everybody, as I say, they deal with their cancers in a different way, but I found her so inspiring, her positivity. And even though she was going through it, she kept smiling and she mm. kept doing her work, and that's, that's amazing. Mm. But I think she was an inspiration to so many people because when she talked about her cancer, she always talked about it with great positivity. Mm. She talked about how she was blessed. You know, she remembered the things she did have, yeah. what she was blessed with. I heard her... Um, I was telling somebody, actually, who's going through chemotherapy at the moment. She talked about um, chemotherapy and she said, I used to think of it as a golden light going mm. through my body instead of, a, you know, some people think of it as a poison. And I thought, gosh, that's very powerful, isn't mm. it? Yeah, yeah, very, very steely in a core, mm. very strong person. Yeah. Um, so many tributes uh, coming into her, of course, uh, but the tributes led by uh, John Travolta, her great friend, her co-host, of course, is Danny. Um, in the musical Grease, he said, My dearest Olivia, you made all our lives so much better. Your impact was incredible. I love you so much. We'll see you down the road and we'll all be together again. Yours from the very moment I saw you and forever. Your Danny, your John. Oh, that oh, breaks my gosh. heart. I know. Mm. But how lovely. And they stayed friends for years and years, didn't they? Yeah. Lots of reunions together. And mm. Well, obviously, uh, um, you know, our, our condolences and thoughts and love to Olivia's uh, family today.